Here are two examples. These are examples from history. You might need to subtract if you're studying history to figure out the difference between two dates. And in this case, you're told it's the year 2007. At the time this was written, at least. It is the year 2007. How many years has it been since the French Revolution in 1789? So we do 2007 minus 1789. And we could rewrite that as 2007 plus the opposite of 1789. And basically what we have to do to add these two numbers, we take note that one is positive and one is negative. So we just subtract and our answer will be positive because the bigger of the two numbers, the 2007 is a positive. So we do 2007 minus 1789 and we get 218. It's 218 years from the French Revolution in 1789 to the year 2007. Now this next problem, in the year 2007, we're, we're asked how many years has it been since Aristotle was born in 384 BC? So 384 BC, that could be represented as a negative number, negative 384. You can think of the timeline of history as being like a number line. If the year zero is here and 2000 is here, we have positive numbers going to the right. 384 BC would be over here. So this would be a negative number going over here to the left. So when I want to do 2007 minus this, I'll be subtracting a negative number. 2007 minus negative 384. And when I rewrite that as an addition problem, it becomes pretty simple. 2007 plus 384. And those are two numbers I can simply add up. 2007 plus 384 comes out to 2,391. 2,391 years since Aristotle was born, or from his date of birth, to the year 2007.